Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I have another instance of Face ID being tricked with a mask. And this is actually by the same guy that did the first test, uh, but this one is a little bit more in depth and he actually answers some of the questions that we had. However, if you watch the video, hopefully you guys can catch the one thing that doesn't necessarily prove that Face ID isn't secure because he kind of forgot one little thing. But let's scroll down before I show you the video just to give you a look at it. It looks just like the other one, same creepy mask. Uh, looks pretty much like the dude except for these weird eyes. Um, and you guys can pause this and read it if you want. But let's watch the video because that's what you guys are here to see. So I'm gonna blow this up for you guys. You guys can watch it here in full screen. So we don't need to hear what he says. I got it in two times speed. So you guys can uh, read what he's saying. He's got the old mask just showing off uh, the original mask that started this all. It took nine to 10 hours to trick face ID. And then here there's a new mask. Uh, looks a little bit better, a little bit more realistic. Um, 3D printer, stone powder, 2D infrared images for the eyes that are just literally like glued onto it. So. Um, here we go. He's gonna act. This is actually where he does well here. So he shows him unlocking the phone. He went into the face ID. He scrolled down. He's showing that attention aware features are all on. And he's going to reset face ID on camera. And he's gonna reset it up. Now, this isn't necessarily bad. I think he does a pretty solid job at getting his face. He doesn't go all the way around as much as some people do, but nonetheless, I think that was a pretty good scan and you can see right here, it unlocks. Now, he, this is the issue right here. He only unlocked it one time after he programmed it. Face ID takes a little while to learn your face completely. So that's where I think he tripped up. And now he's going to position it just perfectly. It takes him a minute and voila, it unlocks. Now, you notice he's holding it in a specific way, um, you know, just to get it just right, but it works. And he unlocked it twice. Um, and he says it's the same way twins unlock the iPhone. It's very similar, actually. Uh, he calls it the artificial twin. And he's basically just saying it's not secure enough for business transactions or for CEOs and people higher up in company, um, you know, because people could easily get a picture of them. And I do kind of agree with him. I think that a lot of biometric security such as fingerprints or uh, face ID. I don't think it's good for CEOs or any C-level executive of a company that has the potential to be hacked, which is pretty much everyone. So if you're just an average Joe, I don't think you have much to worry about. In fact, the convenience of face ID really outweighs the negatives for most people because think about it this way, at least you've got something locking your phone. The average person needs some sort of lock on their phone for theft, basically, so that someone doesn't come by and steal their phone. Um, I mean, if, if a phone's locked, they're not gonna be able to get into it and you can wipe it. So it's kind of a deterrent. No one's, no one's gonna be able to snoop through your phone or steal it and get into it. So it's kind of your own security. You also have to use it. So Face ID is convenient. And that is kind of the kicker here. It's gotta be convenient enough that you use it on a daily basis for it to be good. It's like the best camera that you have could be a DSLR or an iPhone. It's the one you have with you. That's what all of the photographers say. Your best camera is the one you have with you. Because if you don't have it, it's not useful. Face ID, you have it with you, you turn it on, you use it, it is relatively secure for what you use it for. However, if you are high up and you are at high risk of being hacked by someone else, uh, obviously it's not bulletproof. Uh, and it is a new technology, so it will evolve. But I wanna know your guys' thoughts on Face ID. Uh, personally, I still like it. I think these proof of concept videos are pretty cool. Uh, just to kinda, it gives Apple a glimpse of what they need to improve on and uh, I think Face ID will get better in the future. So let me know your guys' thoughts on it. If you like videos like this, hit this video with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.